What is going on guys, it is Blink here, back with a new guide. Now, in this guide, I'll be showing you guys the absolute best strategies of using the new charge shotgun and how you can absolutely dominate with it. Now, if these guides do help out, then using creator code blink.yt will help me out a ton, so thanks to anyone that does use it. Also, if you can quickly just like this video before we do get started, it'll also help me out a lot. Lastly guys, since the new season's out, I'm curious to know what your new favorite landing spot is, so let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, it's about that time that you become one of the best charge shotgun players out there so sit back relax and let's get it started now you guys might be thinking that the charge shotgun is useless and just not good for aggressive play but i'm here to tell you that it's absolutely insanely good to use for aggressive play as long as you can follow these tips and tricks the charge shotgun now adds a new skill ceiling because you now have to really think about the right time to make an edit learning how to properly bait shots and thinking ahead of time there's a reason for all these things and let me show you guys a few examples. In this example, I'm pushing towards an opponent that boxes up. Now he's also got the shotgun so you want to make sure you're placing cover the moment you hear that hissing noise from the charge up. You can see I block my opponent's shot and proceed to edit my wall. Anytime you're on the opposite end to where your opponent's got the charge shotgun too, you'll always want to make sure you've got cover around you to avoid getting hit for quite a lot of damage. Now you can hear my opponent goes for another charge up. What I do is edit my floor then quickly reset set it to bait my opponent into shooting his shot into my floor. Even if he did not have the charged shotgun, this is how you want to play with it aggressively. You always want to figure out ways to get your opponent to break your materials, that way it gives you that split second you need to get rid of the charged shotgun delay in order to shoot it. The moment the floor breaks, that's when you hit that aggressive play. I go for the peak and get off a heavy shot onto my opponent. Now I replace the floor again to avoid taking damage back. My opponent does face through my floor, putting him onto my level. I then edit him down and instantly charge up my shotgun to go for the final blow. In this situation, I instantly charged up my shotgun as he fell back into his box. The moment I knew I had charged it up before him, I knew I had a massive damage shot I could put towards him. My opponent wasn't able to counter the floor drop after I edited him down because if you guys notice, there's a stair right above my opponent. This now means that he cannot place a pyramid over top of the stair to bait my shot. Had there not been a stair, a good opponent will try to bait the charged shotgun shot, that way he's clear to shoot back at me. And you'll notice over the next few weeks, the better player will be the one that can edit and reset quick enough to bait out shots in most situations. The shotgun really creates a new way of playing Fortnite. You can't just make an edit then shoot. The charged shotgun delay just doesn't allow for it. You have to think a little bit more and strategize on how you're going to eliminate your opponent. Let me expand on baiting opponents into breaking your materials and why it's so strong. Now, this charged shotgun is great with players that just freak out and just break everything in sight. Once in a while, you'll run into players that just break everything and freak out. Use that to your advantage. The moment your material breaks, have it pre-charged and take the shot. Get ready for another material break, because these players will not stop shooting. Just one thing to keep in the back of your mind when playing against players exactly like this. Alright, let me show you guys another really good aggressive example. So, I push up towards my opponent's box and take his floor from him. I make an edit and notice he's inside his cone. He knows I'm currently exposed, so remember what I said. You need to think ahead of time. The moment he edits himself out of his cone, I close my floor edit and quickly reopen it right after his shot in order to return a shot back. Now, I do miss the shot and that's exactly how you want to play this situation. You either bait your opponent into shooting at your floor, that way it breaks and then go for the shot back, or it doesn't break and you just make a quick re-edit and go for the shot back. I then repeat the process into breaking my floor piece. Remember, I did the exact same thing as the first time. I opened my floor and closed it and then opened it again to go for the shot. My opponent knows that and there's a good chance that he could have taken an early shot to time the edit of me opening the floor because he knows I did that last time. Once again, you just really need to think when using this shotgun compared to the other ones. Players that have the charged shotgun and the brain power to think with re-edits and baits will be the ones that are very OP when combined with the charged shotgun. And this is exactly why I'm showing you guys great life scenarios and how it's all done. That way you can reapply these tips and tricks back into your own playstyles. Continuing on, I do pre-fire a shot since my opponent started pickaxing my floor as he wanted to take the floor back. 
I was expecting him to pickaxe it one more time to go for the replacement, which would have worked out in my situation as I did go for the shot. Instead, I ended up breaking my floor, so I made sure to replace it back. As I did that, my opponent took a shot. And remember what I said, the whole point of doing these bait plays is to bait out a shot. Even if there was no bait play, my opponent still shot, which gives me time to pass the delay on the shotgun and shoot right back, which is exactly what I did. Get off a shot and close back the edit. Now, my opponent goes for a ramp play and I know exactly where he's coming from. I'm able to charge up my shotgun and get rid of the delay because he's now running up his ramp which takes some time. And predicting player movement as you charge up your shotgun is another massive skill you need to learn when using this shotgun. This is just an additional skill that will make you one of the better charged shotgun players. Now, my opponent puts himself back into his cone, so I replace it and go for a shot as I close the edit, making sure I charge up the shotgun towards my wall cover first before I expose myself. I end up missing the shot and he P90s out of my box. Now in this situation I had no ammo and should have pulled out my AR instead of going for another shot. Better yet I should have had an SMG with me instead. Although in the end I do get the elimination. Now let me explain on why you should be carrying an SMG instead of an AR if you're only going to be choosing one of them when pairing it with the charged shotgun. You will have situations where you cannot use a shotgun because you ran out of ammo since it's only got a maximum of 3 bullets in the chamber or the delay of shooting it will just get you eliminated. So you need a backup weapon, something that's just as accurate that you can track with. Now an AR would work with any other shotgun because any other shotgun doesn't have that delay. Plus they all have that extra ammo capacity. So this means you'll be able to use that other shotgun more while needing to pull your secondary a lot less. But with the charged shotgun, in some situations you'll just need to pull out that SMG instead because you don't have it reloaded or the more common issue which would be the charge delay costing you your game. Also the reason why I say to make sure you have an SMG instead of an AR if you're gonna be only carrying one or the other is because the AR has a lot more bloom and you don't want to be pulling out the AR when you know you'll be pulling out a spray weapon a little bit more often. Once again, I should have pulled up my spray weapon at the end there because I had no ammo in the chamber and that delay to even shoot it would have cost me the game. Luckily, my opponent missed most of his shots. Now, here's one more example of why pulling on an SMG instead of a charged shotgun would be best. Two opponents were fighting in a box and I missed my first charged shotgun shot. I do not have time to recharge it and go for another. I pull out the SMG here and broke my opponent's ramp and look. I keep spraying with the SMG until I have no more ammo. In this exact same scenario with another shotgun, I would have simply been able to pull out the other shotgun to finish off my opponent. But because pulling out the charged shotgun comes with a delay, it gives my opponent time to shoot before I even could. So keep that in mind. Situations where you break your opponent's materials and you and him can clearly see each other without a wall in sight, pulling out the charged shotgun isn't your best bet. Just keep shooting that SMG. Most of the time, the outcome will be way better. Now, remember when I said predicting player movement is also important? Well, let me show you guys another example. I build up and get blocked by my opponent's floor the moment I edit my pyramid. Now, 90% of the time, because I opened my pyramid and got blocked by my opponent's floor, he's now going to open that floor because he thinks I'm just going to try backing away to build in another direction without expecting him to have an angle on me. Little does he know, I'm thinking ahead of the situation. I'm able to pre-charge my shotgun as he edits the floor right into my shot. Once again guys, another brain heavy play. Like I said, players that really use their brain to think ahead of the situation or to use those bait plays and re-edits will shine above others when using the charged shotgun. One last thing I want to mention, you'll notice in most of these situations, I do not charge my shotgun to its full charge. You'll only have time to charge it for a split second, that way you can put on damage and avoid taking damage back. And that's exactly how you want to utilize the charged shotgun in most scenarios. Alright, let's quickly recap everything we've talked about in this guide before we finish up. First up, we talked about figuring out ways on baiting players into taking a shot, whether it would be from breaking your materials, reopening your edit right after they take a shot as you reset it, or simply taking advantage of players that continuously spam your materials by pre-charging your shotgun and getting ready to shoot, then rebuilding cover and repeating the process. Can't mention it enough on how you want to be baiting players into shooting to give you the time you need to charge up the shotgun. Next, you want to make sure you know when it's the right time to use the charged shotgun and when it's the right time to use the SMG. Remember what I said, the delay of pulling out the charged shotgun might cost you your life. And if you start spraying with your SMG and there's no cover in front of you and your opponent, then finishing the SMG spray first will be your best bet. 
Oh yeah, and try to avoid using the AR as your secondary if you're only going to carry one spray weapon. You want the SMG for the overall better accuracy. Lastly guys, learn a spot and predict player movement, that way you can go for a charge up and basically use the charged shotgun just as fast as any other shotgun. Analyze the situation and really think about if it's possible to pre-charge up your shotgun because you have a feeling your opponent will peek into it. Combining all these tips and tricks will put you at the top of the skill ceiling, making you one of the best charged shotgun players no doubt about it. Oh yeah, one last thing guys, don't hold that charged shotgun down for too long. A quick second charge up and a shot right after will be the way you want to play aggressively in order to win most fights and just stay comfortable with the charged shotgun. Well guys, that's it for this guide. Honestly, if you can follow everything I explained, you'll absolutely love the charged shotgun and see how strong it is as long as you treat it differently compared to all the other shotguns. Now, if this guide did help out, then a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated as it does help me out so, so much. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and night and I'll see you on the next one.